Hey guys, welcome back to VBA A to Z. I'm Long Pamai and in this video I'll show you how to add a drag drop feature to reorder items within a list box and also to move items from one list box to another. If you missed our prior videos, please find them from professional UI slash UX playlist. As always, project files and source codes are free for download and use. The only request from you is to support my channel so I can keep sharing all these useful videos. So before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. In our previous videos, we've learned how to add a file drag drop feature to interface using a data object method. And also I demonstrated how to add effects to menu buttons using a mouse move event. We'll use a similar approach and also learn more about uh, cursor position to understand where the items needs to be added. It may sound a little bit complicated, but uh, it's actually very simple. I'll start by giving you a small demo, firing up our first form. Here you can drag and drop any of the items within the list box to reorder them. So let's say we want to move Vince up to the third position here like this. Or uh, you can bring down this Geraldo down here and so on okay and the other one here in this we have two list box instead of reordering within the same list box you can drag and drop you know like items from one list box to another so let's say that we want to do this with Mera like this or let's say like this Okay, so this can be easily accomplished using uh, maybe adding a button here as well without using a drag drop. But this is a very handy and very convenient feature that you can add to improve user experience. The code is ready to use. You can simply download the project and change the name of the list box and start using it. But I'm going to quickly tell you what are the things that you need to change and things you need to watch out. And then how I have designed this and approached this. Okay, for that I'm going to insert a new user form. And here let's add a uh, list box, a dummy list box and just change the special effect there. Let's make it smaller like this. Okay. Uh, and then let me take the code from here for just loading the dummy data so that we don't have to rewrite this part. Just changing the name of the list box. Okay, so this is how the dummy data is being loaded behind. Okay, now a couple of things that we need to know here is uh, what item is being clicked and dragged, the text of that, so that we can know what item needs to be removed from the last position, right, and added to the new position. Getting the new position is a little bit difficult because we need to calculate using the cursor where the cursor is currently located. And then uh, the other thing is when the font size increases, you know, like the height of this row, for example, will increase and decrease so here and add a font. Let's see. I was trying with any of the font, but uh, this is what I was using. So Jalix, for example, if you look here now, you see like the row height of increase based on the font size right and let's make it to 16 and the four color to white now you see like the you know like the row height have increased again because the because of the font size we have to keep all these things together in order to be able to calculate where the item is being dragged and dropped okay make this bigger okay getting the list item uh the index as well as uh the text is very simple we have done this in our prior videos adding to text box sorry let's change the behavior again to like this maybe and then we'll say whenever the list item is being clicked, we'll say that the text box set the text box value with whatever is being clicked. First will be the index, and then second will be the value. If I click on this, it returns uh, the text. In the first text box, we're returning the index of the item being clicked. And then in the second, we're returning the value, okay? So this is how I'm getting what is the source or, you know, like the source index 
and then what is the source text okay and then this is let's say that you're dragging you know this particular element then it's going to remove after adding it to the destination getting the destination is the more tricky part now in order to do that again we have to keep multiple things in mind that is the font size and then uh, where the cursor is at that particular point of time this text box three four and five okay going back again when you go to this box and then use the mouse move here you'll see that there are you know like a couple of things that you can use from here these are going to return where you know like based on the mouse move it's going to return the button it's been clicked and then the shift behavior and then uh x and y coordinates of the cursor so let's say that text box 3 in the text box 3 will return y and then in text box 4 will return x okay x will return the coordinates uh, you know like the horizontal coordinate and then y is going to return the vertical um coordinate so let's try that loading up again so if i move my cursor you know like from the top is zero so if you look at this text box here this is going to return us y okay as soon as i move in it's you know like it's about zero then as i start moving down it's four five and then keeps on going down right as i keep on going down it keeps on you know like adding up the you know like uh, where the cursor is at that point of time from the top okay like this now if i move away from the left side like this is you know like uh, x return as the horizontal position of the mouse like this i'm using the font size and then the the y coordinate to calculate where the list what is the list index where it needs to be dropped to okay for that here i'll return um let's try this so what i i've done here is in order to calculate this we are keeping a couple of things again uh, the font size and then the the vertical you know like position of the mouse okay and then we need to do some approximation uh, in order to get that so here let's do this y um two convert this to number so if i load this up now and i press my cursor here if you look down here this is where it will show me the destination list index calculated value based on the font size and then based on the the y position okay again going down here now it shows me the list list index is showing us zero and then as soon as i come in down here to the second one it shows one because the list index starts from zero okay and then if i go to Mariko, it's going to return two and if you keep on watching it will show us three as soon as i move on here to this area go back to and then as soon as i come down here it returns three that is how we are calculating what should be the destination index where the item needs to be added okay since you're familiar with this now i'll go and show you the code behind these forms so again when i drag this it's already taken the text and then the index of the list item and then based on the movement of the cursor it calculates where it needs to be added okay like this like this let's go behind this here so starting from the bottom this is basically just again adding an item to the list box by looping through from row number 2 to 19 for example this is actually not required here i'm setting the mouse pointer to 5 that will show us the move uh, you know like cursor type this you know you can see like it's not a normal once you go out here it goes to normal cursor type and it comes down here it shows us the move okay so that is what it is about and then this is just adding the blue background to the list and then the name of the list box is demo list box okay let's first look at this mouse move this is the, um, where we're getting the source text and then the list index and then you know like setting the effect and so on for example when you go and click on this one once you click on this hold down the you know like the the mouse and then start dragging it 
you'll see that the effect have changed uh, and then you'll see that just near the cursor you'll see there is a small indicator that the item is being picked okay so this is being done from this particular place here this button one this will return one when an item is you know like when you're selecting an item and then you start moving something like this it this particular button behavior this this will return us one okay we are putting a condition here that if an item is being dragged we're starting a new you know like we're setting here we're declaring that obj is a data object and then we're setting up object here and then we're setting up a list box here which is being declared here that this is going to be our list box we're using instead of a class using it here itself and then here we're setting a text to this object okay we're setting that the text is going to be whatever the list item was selected at that time the text of that and then we're saying from index from list box index is going to be whatever item was clicked at that point of time so that's going to return us the index and then we're setting the effect to start drag okay just to show that the, some item is being dragged this portion takes care of whatever is in you know, like our source okay and then if you come up here you'll see that first before drag is uh, setting the cancel mode to true and then the effect is setting to you know like drop effect move and then in this code here before drop or paste in this here we are calculating again the same thing that we want to with this particular demo list box we're calculating where the destination list item or index where it is added to okay so this part calculates that this takes care of you know like um, whenever you're dragging up then we're just using this otherwise if you're dragging it down we're adding plus one to the index so this will take care of like if you're dragging something down here it will add on top of that okay that's for that purpose and then the important thing here that you need to know is again cancel mode or setting it to true and then the effect to to the drop effect moves and then this is where you know like it's adding the an item to the list box and then the data is being captured from whatever we have added down here so we have in the object we have set the text and then this is where we are getting the text that we've added and then this is the location that we calculated top in here we are adding it to that particular position where you have moved and then again this is where we are removing the item from the source position or index okay so we're saying this list box remove an item you know like whatever item was that in that particular index that is what it's basically doing okay so this is how it has been set up if you need to know what what to change will be you can simply you know like copy this entire code like this if you have to you know like use this in your in your interface you can basically add this add these codes to your form so if i have to do it i'll just let's say that uh, we want to add it to this form that we just created i'll just um, come here paste it here like this and then i'll replace this demo list box with your list box name here our list box name this list box name is list box one so i'll just copy that I'll, rep I'll replace all the demo list box with our list box like this once you load this up you should be able to drag and drop okay if you already have your code uh, with the mouse move or you know like with the uh, you know like this events associated events then what you can do is you can just simply copy this and then paste it within those particular blocks okay now coming to the second part of this again this is pretty much the same concept the only thing that we need to know is like we have more block for two list box so if we come down here you'll see here is for a list box two and then here's for list box one again same thing we're setting up the text then we're getting the index we're setting the index from index so that later on we can remove that and then we're setting up the behavior same thing with the list box too and then here we're you know like exactly the same thing coming up here before drop or paste again we're doing the exactly the same thing you just need to replace the name of the you know like uh, your controls with the one I've, i have so if you look here this is list box one and then this is list box two 
So guys, that's all I have for you in this video. As usual, I'm gonna leave the link in the video description. Please feel free to download and play around more. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment on the video below. I'm gonna come back to you as soon as possible. If you found the video informative, please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.